All right, guys. <clears throat> What's up? We are the motherfucking bar talk. talk. Yo, we went to the gym today. Had a very good sesh. My chest hurts. Tell them what we did, John. So we recorded a video. Um, by the time this goes up, it had already been uploaded. So check in our um, in our most recent video. So we did a five rep max on incline bench, and um. If you want to see what we did, you got to go click on that uh, video link down below. Yes, I'm not going to say no more, but we maxed out for five rep on incline. Or tried to. Quick little vlog. Yeah, quick little vlog. Okay. What? Was that like 10 minutes? Something like that? I think like 10, 15. 10, 15. 15. Yeah, we freaking... Uh, I want to tell you is that we shotgun Celsius. That's all we're going to oh, say. Oh, yeah. Made a mess, but we cleaned up. <laughs> we cleaned up after ourselves. We're Gucci. That's Gucci. <clears throat> for sure. For sure. So what's up, guys? What do you guys want to talk about today? Mr. Where Ace. have you been, bro? Mr. Ace had some questions, and oh, we'll t- we'll get into that later. Okay. All right. What's up? What were you going to tell him? Oh, you were saying because you said and and then you stopped. Oh, you that he was you were going to ask him stuff. Oh, well, yeah, that's for later. But I mean, dude, where have you been? Where have what we been? been to? Oh, me? Uh, Modo que el vecino. Shit, I just been working. Um, been trying to get on this gym grind again. Um, trying yeah. to stay. I don't know, just trying to stay on track because, um, you know, sometimes you lose your way, yeah. but you just got to be reminded of what you got going on and shit and what's important. That's it. I've just been working, just been chilling. I I recently got like a new position in my work like a few weeks ago. So promotion. I've been, yeah, it's a promotion. I've been trying to adapt to it. There's a lot of work, a lot of more work. So a lot more work and a lot more stress. So, yeah, I've been trying to adapt these last few weeks. I've been working a lot more. So, yeah, I've been trying to balance work, um, landscaping and the gym and then also keeping all this content <clears throat> updated. But we've been slacking, but we got a, a few videos now, so I think we'll be all right. <clears throat> but that's it, man. Just been on that. Don't worry. We're making sure the audio is good every time. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Before we start recording. Oh, yeah, I got to yeah. keep check. <laughs> we don't need any more mistakes. <laughs> oh, God, bro. I was, we recorded like four videos and I was like, no way. 100%. No way. No way. It was tough, man. I was so sad. Yeah, what you, Brian? Any uh, updates? Any you know, news? same old, same old. Just, yet? just gambling, being an feeding, addicted motherfucker, feeding my addiction. Fries picks. Uh, I might leave soon, so we're gonna have to oh, see yeah, how we speak record. A, speak on that a little bit. So I didn't want to, <clears throat> I didn't want to say too much to anybody before <clears throat> it was official because you know, people just like they're gonna think I'm all talk and I'm, mm-hmm. I'm still here, but. I'm supposed to call the guy today. Uh, I'm gonna go to school for be to be a mechanic. We don't gotta say where though, and all, all yeah. the extra details. But yeah, but yeah. Uh, hopefully, this new journey is nothing but good. My goal is to have my goal is to have a barn dominium. If y'all don't know what that is, it's like a two story barn type thing, and like <clears throat> half of it is like a whole garage, and it has a lift, and you can put your tools in there and shit, <clears throat> and then above it. It's like the living space. So, like, you can work on your car basically at home. Mm. And then... It's like what they do in Mexico. You know how they have... <coughs> the top is where they live and the bottom is where they have their store. Yeah, basically. Yeah. basically. And in Mexico, that's really common. Which is also good, too. Here, you have, like, your... F- f- like the whole floor be it's like where you live in. The like, bottom is where you have your business. Yeah. Which is good. That's fucking and awesome. You also, can work if, there you, if you make, like, big enough ones, you can rent them out. Like kind of like duplexes and shit. Yeah, so you can rent the <coughs> other spaces, the other storage spaces. Mm-hmm. So well, would you would you have to make a living room space upstairs too for them or just? Yeah, yeah, no, it, like that's the whole point of it. Like so having like, a living space and a wor- mm, workshop, basically. It's right. basically <coughs> like Mexico. Yeah. yeah, you have on top you have the um, space where you live, and then on the bottom it's like where you work. And then get some good soundproofing too, and then that way they don't have to worry about the noises the cars make. Because <coughs> oh, there's yeah. a lot of people that I've already built some. And I'm like, damn. And they're, they're, <coughs> they're extremely popular on TikTok. Like, if you mm-hmm. go on TikTok, as soon as you watch one Barnuminium video, 100 videos of Barnuminiums. Are are they expensive? They're cheap. Uh, they're pretty cheap to build. They go, the lowest I've heard anybody say, 175, 175,000. The highest, obviously, can be north of a million. But that's just building it, or that includes the property? Building and land. And land. Oh. It's but it also not. depends on the area <coughs> and how big you want to build it. Yeah. It's not too bad, but. First is like small steps, you know, open up a shop, fix up cars, <clears throat> fix up my project car, make that shit run. And then that's like <clears throat> the end goal. Kind of like uh, 
a five year goal if that makes sense. Yeah. And then also have multiple sources of income and all that shit. But yeah. I was Good. also gonna ask you now that I mentioned that. Where do y'all see yourselves in five years? I remember they used to ask the shit us in, in school. Where do you see yourself in ten years, five years? So where do you see yourself from now to uh, five years? <clears throat> don't don't be rushing the answer, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Well, John, I he's ready to answer. He's about to answer, and then but he's just. You want to go first, or you want him? To he go can first? go first. Right. Oh, I mean, <clears throat> five years from now, mm-hmm. golly, mm. I don't know. I mean, depending, I don't know. I can't answer that one right now. It's still. You want me to go? It's pending. It's pending. Yeah, yeah. But you I mean, can go. You can steady go. Steady income for sure. <laughs> I like having like big goals for myself because they always say it's everyone said it was impossible until someone did it. You know, yeah. my goal is to in five years to have my parents retired, have hopefully one of those barn dominiums up and living there. And hopefully, fingers crossed, have one or two houses rented out. That's my five year goal from now. Hopefully it's a lot more than that. But that's like a minimum right now. So I don't know where I'm going to be living, but that's the goal right now. 100%. That's a good goal. That's a really good goal. For me, <coughs> um, long-term perspective, like going um, like corporate-wise, um, so there's like, and the corporate is always like rankings. There's always somewhere higher to be. Mm-hmm. So I think in five mm-hmm. years... Um, so I haven't told you guys, but, um, so now with, with this position that I have now, they offer you to pay for all your school. So oh. they'll pay for all your school. You just have to like, so you basically, you go, you pay whatever it costs and then you give it to the company and then they'll refund you for whatever it was. Right. So if I do financial aid. I'll get the money and then they'll still pay me. So basically, I'll, they'll pay me to go back to school. Now that I have this position now, but now I have to figure out what I want to do. What like, you want to study? But it has to be something that will benefit the company, if that makes sense. Oh, like, okay. uh, I could either be, uh, I have three options. I have, I have, I could be a mechanical engineer. I could be a, a electrical engineer, or I could be a process engineer. So uh, one of those oh, three. Those are the three I feel options. Like all those leave bank, bro. Yeah, those are good money. <clears throat> and starting pays like 120 a year, so it's pretty good. Shit. That's really good. So I haven't even told anyone. I I just been trying to really see if I can really fucking handle four years of school again. So yeah, that's that's because I, I have to get a bachelor's for that. And um, fuck, I don't know that that that's just been on my mind a lot. Like just fucking debating. just debating if I really because if I have to commit, I have to commit. So I might have to like for a little while, like let go of the landscaping for a little bit. Like I give it, let my dad do everything. Like, but it's gonna be a lot of fucking work for him. So I also don't want to be selfish because I don't want him to burn out. So it's just, it's just trying to figure out what I want to do with that. But I think I will go back to school. Um, if they're really gonna pay for everything like they say they will, then I'll go back to school and get my bachelor's degree. So basically, by the time I'm twenty nine, I'll have a fucking bachelor's degree and whatever. If I decide to do uh, process engineering or mechanical or electrical, one of those three, th- those are my options. Mm-hmm. Or I could do like HR and shit, but that's never really been my thing. I like like I'm leaning more to process yeah. engineering because like that's like you learn like like the process. So we work with polymers, right? We work with like all different types of polymers and like different heats do different things. You know, the more heat you put, the softer the material will come out, less heat, the harder it will come. Like it's just knowing what the machine does and like learning the process and stuff. And I think I like that more. Learning the process of how how you fucking get how you get polymer t- into a fucking diaper because we because we make diapers right we make diapers and toilet paper so that shit is so fascinating man right now i won't say too much but at my job right now we're making toilet paper that as soon as as soon as you like wipe your ass and throw it in the trash can it like it try it'll disappear like what it'll the disintegrate fuck? in the air Damn. yeah we're trying to work on that right now and i don't know how the fuck they fucking <laughs> come up with that shit but that's just always been intriguing and like it sounds intriguing. Yeah, it's just fucking cool, you know? So, like, who knew that fucking toilet paper was so big? Like, people <laughs> use that to wipe their ass. So, I don't know. That That's my plan. My In five years, hopefully. Already have that finished. Hopefully have a degree, you know? Because I, I, I don't know. I, I think I want a degree, man. I feel like it's not, like, 
everything, but it, it would help a lot. Especially in, in that sense. So the company. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, growing in the company and then they also offer like pension, uh, 401k and like, so like a lot of companies don't plan. offer both. Right. Yeah. So yeah, mm. but then also I don't want to be slave to a company. Right. What if one day they just had to fire me? So that's why like, I don't want to put all my eggs in one yeah. basket, but if they're able to pay for my school and I could use that degree somewhere else and fucking, that's why I want to take advantage of them. Yeah. Just like they're using me. You can use. I'm gonna use them, yeah. you know. So that's why. That's the goal, man. I, hopefully, I'm pretty sure the degrees you said, the all three, they can help you in other businesses. In, well. Any any business, yeah. They'll be yeah. like, oh, he worked at this company for this year. He's loyal. He has yeah. a degree. Like, what else do we want? You yeah. Know? So, man, th- that that's the plan, man. But I also don't want to let the landscaping go because it's it's good money, man. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm telling you, some days you won't make much, but some days you'll make nine hundred dollars in a day and a thousand in a day. Just that's cash flow too. It's, it's just profits. Mm-hmm. So at work, it's not like that. <laughs> you have to work because you're on salary. So you have to log in forty hours and then you'll get your check. Yeah. And what sucks too is that you get paid twice a month. Like, you know, they do twice a month. We'll do uh, the fifteenth okay. and, and then the again first. the first. Uh, hell no! You uh, working construction, you get it's paid that Friday or that day. You know, so that that's the best part. And sometimes you get cash. You don't got to fucking. You know, I'm not saying we do, but <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you get cash and you know you don't got to report it. But um. Crazy, yeah. <coughs> Either way, we're not saying we do it. I report everything I do. Uh, <laughs> kind of so have to, unfortunately. Yeah, we report every every single penny to the last time. But yeah, that's where I see myself, man. I it, like so that's why when you told me you were gonna go back to school, I'm like, that's good, man, because I got plans of going back to school too, man. Because man, we're only getting older, man. Time yeah. fucking goes and goes and I goes. I remember when we were fucking 17, 18 in high school, bro. And now look at us, we're fucking 24, 25. Hell yeah, you know, you know, like I said, there's this thing that people say, um, you know, sometimes it's too late. I don't think it's ever too late. I yeah. feel like the moment you give up, that's when it's too late. You know, as long as you don't give up and like you do try to move forward in life. You, you're, you're never losing, you know, you know, people like people learn a lot more from mistakes than doing well. You know, you learn a lot more from messing up than, doing than, than sometimes doing like taking small steps because, you know, but then again, you don't want to take a really big step. Yeah. And then end up going really low. You want to be make sure every step is, is is accounted for. So that's my plan. You know, hopefully get a bachelor's degree in one of those three areas man i really want to do one of those three but i know it's gonna be fucking hard though. i know i already know it you're man you're gonna have to try bro you're gonna have to, i'm gonna have to really you're try to give it your all mm-hmm. I, I think you got it though I, I think so too man i'm gonna have to sacrifice a lot of fucking sleep yeah. but <laughs> yeah but i feel like if i'm healthy i could I'll be able to manage all that like being in the gym being in shape you know mm. that mental if i'm mentally good i got it bro no matter what so okay well yeah that's just it man Hell yeah. And to add to that, yeah, I don't think it's ever too late. Because I was telling my mom about me going back to school. And she was like, well, look at your cousin. Uh, we have a cousin in Mexico. He went to engin- – he's a electrical or something engineer. And he went to school at like 30, 31. And he's like 40-something right now. And he has a, like a very big house in like a nice area in, um, where we live. And he has a whole family and everything. I'm like – Damn, like, it's never too late then. It's never too late, I think. Like, he didn't even know what he wanted to do until he was, like, 30. <clears throat> really? And now he has a family. He's successful. He has a nice house. And, like, he lives in, like, a closed-off neighborhood. And those really? bitch, those are expensive in Mexico. Damn. So, yeah, it's never too late, bro. It's like they say, it's never too late. Everybody's in, a, we're all in a race, but everybody's in, a, in their own race. Mm-hmm. Like, we're not, we're not in a race against each other. We're, we're in a race, we're running a, in our own race against ourselves. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Like the goal is not to be fetally, fetalize. The goal is to beat yourself. Yeah, or man. Be, be the best version of yourself. I feel like people, oh, well, at least amongst Hispanics, the biggest issue is that they're always comparing themselves. You know, like, I know some families will be like, oh, your cousin's doing this, but you're not doing that. I'm like, who cares what my cousin's doing, you know? <laughs> I only care about what I'm doing and what my people I love are doing, you know? I'm, I'm not saying I don't love my cousin, but I'm just saying, like, like, you know, some people like to compare what other people mm-hmm. are doing, you know, but he, he's not you. He doesn't have maybe the problems you have, you know, so people have different. Some people have more help than others, you know, yeah. so sometimes you have to look for for your own way of helping yourself. So that's what I think. Did you get any ideas from those? Well, I mean, I, I kind of know in a sense, but at the same time, it's more like I'm gonna probably be I'll, I'll be like 34. So I'm probably I don't know, looking for marriage. Marriage, that's good. Marriage is uh, good. And definitely having a second, possibly even a third house. 
That's good, man. Third house, man. Fuck, I'm trying to get first house. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's the goal to get a one house first. Sure. And after that, worry about that. After that is keeping it. That's a struggle, and then working towards the second. Third. You know, my fear. I'm sure I could get a house, but my fear is getting a house and losing it. You know, yeah. so that's my yeah. fear, right? So I want to be sure that like you can have like you know, because I know people that you know got a house and like 11 years in, like something fucking crazy happens, you know, and they lose the fucking house, the they, emergency or something. You know, yeah. so, so like I want to be sure that I like I'm I'm straight, you know. <clears throat> So, but then again, you'll never know. You never you know it. until you fucking do it, right? So it's just like just losing that fear. But um, it's just small goals at a time, you know. Yeah. Yep, that's good, bro. That's good. So like, it's good that we all have a plan, right? We all have a plan, and like, hey, just like today at the gym, like that guy was asking you how much you charge, and oh, you can yeah. start that's doing a, that, like a recording shit. Game. Hey, so I, he, so did, I, he does his workout. He has extra time. He's like, yo, yeah, record this thing and get some money. Yeah. You know, it's yeah, some money, yeah. you know, editors make money, man. So like if you, if you really get into that craft, man, I feel like, you know, like I remember there was like, there's college for that too. There's everything for yeah. that. But like YouTube now will teach you like, Basically, you don't even they, need school for that. Exactly so like, need to do. so like, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can learn that shit. Good, man. Like fucking the editing shit. If you learn how to do that good. Like you fucking make some money, man. I don't, I, like some YouTubers, some YouTubers be telling that the editors be making like hundred k a year. Like it's good money just from editing. Yeah. Imagine if you edit for multiple YouTubers. And that's what I've been, bro. Ever since he was <laughs> little, he always had like a, yeah. like a don for like the electrical, like cameras, yeah, like, all like that the, shit. Yeah, because he likes he, it. He's you know? always been good at it. He's it's, into it. And we've always told him, but I guess I don't know. I feel like sometimes it's just fear, you know. It's just like damn, like yeah, sometimes I don't want to fucking do it just because of the. The, like, repercussions of you failing. But, like, then again, like, if you attract negative energy, that's how you're going to get, man. So you have to, like, change your mindset a little bit and take take a reasonable risk, you know. Like, okay, let me start recording for people. Let me start editing. Or let me just start recording everything I do and, and figure out what to edit and all that. Like, that's why, like, now we record a lot more. than And now we're more, like, like more, it's not active, if that means. Not like we were acting before, but, like, now it's more, like, Okay, we're we're more smooth, you know. We try to be ourselves more, you know, when we're out yeah, and when stuff. We, when we first yeah. started, we were like, oh, like a little um, timid. Yeah, yeah. a little timid. But th- th- that's just how it is, you know. Sometimes yep. you just have to like do it and fucking fuck up and learn from your mistakes. So mm. that's what I think. I I, I see Ace like editing some sort later in the future. I do. Like I that, do that's too. fucking. I I see it because he likes it too. So if you like what you do, hey, that's a good job. And then you'll never learn unless you fail. Hey, bro. I'm telling you, man. Like Andrew Tate says, man, you learn more from failing, man. Than not trying. Hell yeah. Agree. Um, we are at 18 minutes, so take I guess we'll break. call. We'll take a t- little quick break and then. We'll nah, but fuck it. We'll fucking do another podcast for them. We'll okay. do two. Fuck okay. it. Okay. All right. What do y'all think? So the next one could be like a little the, wild because this one the, we went deep. This one could yeah. be the questions and stuff. No, this one could be the deep, like going like having like what would, what would, what would we title this? Uh, like five year plan. Where, where do we? Where now. do we? Five where do we? S- where do we see ourselves in five years? Yeah. Where do we see ourselves in five years? Yeah, that's a good title. That's pretty deep though. Yeah, because we can't ask some crazy shit out there. What we just talked yeah. about. Nah, so that'd be a whole saying. different like podcast. A little, like cutting it right here. <clears throat> For show. Sure. So yeah. yeah. Anything else you want to say? Anything else you want to uh, tell the people before we continue the show? I just want to say, uh, chase your dreams. It's never too late. Your only competition is ever yourself. And if you can imagine it, you can do it. Because like someone said, it, everyone said it was impossible until someone finally did it. So. Hell yeah. And then that thing that Mr. B said, like recently about like everyone thought I was crazy until I until, until I it did worked. it, you know, until it worked. And so. now they call me a genius. It's kind of yeah. like the same thing as like no one did it until like. Yeah, it's did. like everybody. It's like all the inventors like Thomas Edison, you know, Alexander Graham Bell, you know. All them people, they thought they were crazy until they figured it they out. They figured you know? it out. Oh my God, he's so smart. Yeah. But what were they saying first? That he was crazy. Exactly. He was nope. dumb. At the end of the day, everyone's gonna judge. You know, everyone's gonna judge what you do if you do it right. Oh, oh, but you could have done this if you do it wrong. Oh, fuck, he fucked up. At the end of the day, <laughs> you shouldn't be judging anyone's character. Although we're uh, humans and we judge, we might get cut off. It already hit twenty. All right. We are out, guys. Peace. <laughs> Peace.